So just as governing bodies are trying to catch up with Uber and trying to regulate this ride-sharing industry, Airbnb, which has been very popular over the years and is really catching on now, now they got to deal with this. That's right. And there are two sides to this story. Airbnb is a fantastic, fantastic service. I've used it all over uh, North America when I've traveled. It's a great place to try different neighborhoods and stay in areas that are less populated with hotels. And, it, and it's, not, it's not as expensive. And it's, it's like Uber where yeah. people are sharing their homes. Yeah. And uh, this is an article that I pulled up from the Metro from, uh, I believe, Friday, where Kristen Wong Tam is saying that we need to work faster at regulating Airbnb just like we are uh, Uber after uh, several things have happened. There was the Mississauga shootout that happened uh, re last week, I believe. No, no, no. It was a Mississauga party. M Mississauga it was a party, party. In, a, in a beautiful neighborhood. Someone someone has this house. They rented yeah. it out as Airbnb and there was there was this party that just was was off the charts. And then, of course, there was a shootout, which you were referring to oh, on right. Front Street a, a couple of months ago. Yeah. Again, involving Airbnb. So several instances, both a shootout and a party that involved uh, I guess a, a negative outcome yeah. after someone put their place on Airbnb and a lot of condos are now issuing notices. I just got one on Friday uh, from my condo saying just a reminder that you cannot be listing your place up on Airbnb re regardless of whether you own or rent it uh, unless someone is there for over 90 days. Uh, so there really aren't any uh, regulations currently around that and there are gaps within uh, condo policies that are letting people do this and it is leading to uh, people being nervous about what their neighbors are doing with their spaces. Yeah, most definitely. All right. Thank you very much, Winston.